All right, y'all, so let's get right into it. Girl, now Todd and Candy was out here getting real freak nasty on Usher's, you know, little yeah with the yeah, all right? Now, listen, one thing about Candy is she gonna keep it spicy, baby. I love Candy. I love, I love, I love, okay? Because Candy is a really, really great businesswoman. But I like how they keep the spice in their relationship. Now, I'm not really too fond of Todd because there's a lot of things that Todd do that I just be like, wait a minute. But I really do like how they keep their marriage spicy and exciting from the outside looking in. That's all I'm saying, okay? So, baby, Todd and Candy was ready to get it down with the Boogie Down Bronx right there, okay? So, baby, look, hey, I'm here for it. If they love it, baby, yes, baby, let it be that now. Look, I ain't mad at them. Shit. Have fun. Girl, now, you got this beef with Glorilla and this uh, stylist, you guys, this MUA. Girl, so I guess everybody was coming down on Glorilla because of, you know, the... <laughs> I'm going to just let y'all listen to it, girl. Hold on. Let's see. We going out that ugly-ass motherfucking makeup video. Act like I don't show my motherfucking bird face every day. Bitch, what's up? You see me? So, y'all, basically, Glorilla had something to say, girl, because this picture down here, the girl had showed it. In so many words, she felt a ways because when the girl posted it, Glorilla felt the way and she didn't like it. And I just feel like Glorilla is beautiful either way. But Glow, she's not a plastic surgeon, baby. All right. So this is what the girl said about Glow as a clapback, okay? Oh, that video, that ugly makeup. So honestly, hearing this hurts, even though she may not remember the conversation that we had that day, but I told her that I was an up-and-coming makeup artist. I was currently in school, and I left school that day early because I was so excited to do her makeup. Yeah, I just saw this shit on my motherfucking face. She just me off. They told me I liked it, though. No, you didn't like it. What, the makeup? Yeah. I told you it was cute. No, one. As you can hear in the video, her friend said he looked nice, and so have other comments. So for her to drag me is just insane. Just for her to still call me back to do her makeup. Now, the girl said Glorilla called her back two or three more times after this, allegedly. Um, I do kind of feel that this is a little bit unprofessional of Glorilla, but to be real with y'all, I don't think the girl is all the way innocent because it's not like Glorilla told her she couldn't share the audio and video, but I do feel like the girl knew what she was doing when she was sharing that particular video of Glorilla. So again, you know, it is what it is, but I get it. All right. Uh, hopefully they settled this situation and shout out to a girl. You know, you did a celebrity client. Obviously you did something good for Glorilla to book you. So yeah, I want to get on Alexis Sky real quick because you know, Alexis Sky was my girl, but she just doing a lot of ish for attention to right now. And I'm not really feeling it. Okay. At first she was saying that she was going to vote for Trump. Then now it's like, no, I'm not going to vote for Trump. Okay. So she says the interview I did regarding voting was done prior to Trump's statement on the Department of Education. Initially, I wanted to vote for Trump for my own personal reasons. After familiarizing myself with both candidates, I will no longer be voting for him. All right. So, I mean, that's a personal choice, baby. But the fact that you came and did this then the third child, somebody said she voted for Trump and she has a daughter. I'm not watching. Uh, I, I I ignored this part because I'm not with people talking about people cheering. Not saying she's talking about the cheering, but why did you bring the daughter up? That was stupid. But anyway, some, somebody says, lot, lot, not Little Miss endorsed Trump. We don't care and tell him and the rest of the Trump supporters to tune in. Now, let people vote for the, who they want to vote for, baby. All right. But it's the flip floppiness for me. All right. So it's talking about what Trump wants to do. Uh, You know, and it, it it's a lot. OK, it is a lot so again that's that with that but let's get on the neck in this y'all because like i said sis has been flipping and flopping let me explain now she does have a new dating show out you guys and the show is coming out the show is called i believe falling for sky okay so i was over there thinking sis was holy but she's back to showing that body and da, 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 da. so i'm about to show you guys um a few of these clips right here where she is explaining why she is all of a sudden flip-flopping okay 
you're dating. Um, I think it had a lot to do with um, the person I was dating, the people around me. They were making me believe like, oh, you're never going to be a wife if you do this, or you're never going to do this, or you'll never be accepted if you don't change this and certain things. And I knew I had to change certain things in my life, but um, yeah, like I'm still Alexis. Like you guys knew me as Alexis Sky from the beginning this way. So I get it. People could be disappointed in things, but this is part of life. It's part of growing pains. This is part of just whatever it is. There was a lot of people in my ear at that time. And I was going through a major identity crisis and I was literally going through like different shifts and changes. And I just didn't know what and where I wanted to be and what I wanted to do. And I just was really confused. And it just really was. And not confused about God because my God is always going to be my God. I wasn't confused about God. I was just confused on, was I ready to just make certain shifts in my life? Was I ready for this? Like, imagine living your life a certain way every day and then you just wake up and change everything. It doesn't work that way. Like, nothing just happens overnight. That's why it's called eight journeys. Were you on the journey because of who you're dating? Um, I think it had a lot to do with um, the person I was dating, the people around me. They were making me believe, like, oh, you're never going to be a wife if you do this or you're never... I said wearing revealing clothes was, I didn't want to do those things more because somebody was in my ear. I'm not going to even say who. It could have been family, relationships, friends. It was people in my ear telling me. And I was really sitting there thinking to myself, like, maybe I do dress like this. Maybe I am, like, too naked. Or maybe I, like, but this is how I became who I am. Like, so why would I change that? You know what I'm saying? When I wasn't fully ready to change and I was allowing other people to dictate my decisions and once I really just like snapped out of it I was like no because even when I was doing I would in y'all's eyes the right thing it was still wrong so anyway I said wearing revealing clothes was I didn't want to do those things more because somebody was in my ear I'm not gonna even say who it could have been family relationships friends it was people in my ear telling me and I was really sitting there thinking to myself like Maybe I do dress like this. Maybe I am like too naked or maybe I like, but this is how I became who I am. Like, so why would I change that? You know what I'm saying? When I wasn't fully ready to change and I was allowing other people to dictate my decisions. And once I really just like snapped out of it, I was like, no, because even when I was doing, I would, in y'all's eyes, the right thing, it was still wrong. So anyway, I said wearing revealing clothes was I didn't want so basically what I gather from all of this is that she was with a man that you know she was pretending to be something that she not um she's regretting the holy lifestyle in my opinion because your relationship didn't work out so basically you were playing around in my opinion um so basically um you wasn't wearing sexy clothes because the man didn't want you to, as any real man would tell his woman, cover yourself up. Now that y'all probably let you broken up, now you're back to the old Alexis Sky, okay? Um, now you want the kitty cat out again. You got a new show coming out, and you know, you gotta be the old Alexis Sky to be getting money. First of all, I don't care about how a person get their money. She getting her money the honest way. She ain't out here stealing, robbing, or none of that. She's getting money with her own body, baby. And if that's how she wanna do it, that's how she wanna do it. However, I liked the previous new Alexis Sky versus this one. And again, I think that she should have just focused on her and her lifestyle and just changed it. You didn't have to give a play by play of what you decided to do, because at the end of the day, you are grown. So I don't understand why you did come up here. I think the fact that she did come up here saying all of this and I mean, it just kind of made the situation worse. OK, that's just my humble opinion. Uh, baby, whatever you decide to do, baby, that's your body. But next time, baby, don't be up here playing with God, trying to get clout.